acknowledge his goodness. We have a reason to remember that all that he is to us. I want us to look at uh, people in the scriptures in the Bible that have hunger and thirst for God. Uh, and what God talks about them. And how God, what God thinks about them. Today, I want us to begin with Mary. There are so many Marys in the Bible. So many Marys. And all Marys have a good recommendation from God. Many Marys that you know in the Bible. There are so many. There's the Mary, the mother of Jesus. There is Mary Magdalene. There's Mary, the mother, uh, the, the sister of Martha. And so many other. And all of them, the Bible speaks something better about them. All of them. We are reading about the Mary, the mother and the sister of Martha and, uh, and uh, the very also sister of Lazarus. The Bible says in chapter 10 of Luke verse 38. Chapter 10 of Luke verse 38. Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house and she had a sister called Mary which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word but Martha was encumbered about much serving and came to him and said Lord dost thou not care that my sister has left me to serve alone bid her therefore that she helps me and Jesus answered and said unto her Martha Martha thou art careful and troubled about many things but one thing is needful and Mary has chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. Did he answer her prayer? I'm asking a question. Did he answer her prayer? <laughs> what do you think she was doing? She was preparing tea, looking for bread somewhere, uh, I, I think uh, even if she was not in that kitchen at least she's keeping the, the visitor busy I hope that will also be something she should have done so imagine the the visitor alone in the house and the two ladies busy in the kitchen what do you think the visitor will feel mm -hmm. and how long does it take to prepare those refreshment until he comes I think at least to some extent she should have she should have appreciated Mary for keeping the visitor I'm talking about if it is an ordinary visitor but this is not ordinary in fact the person who needs The service of Jesus more is Martha. How can you have God in your house? 
<laughs> and you are busy hmm? uhuru kenyata came to your house and you are busy in the kitchen what do you think will you will do if he comes into the house now it is ruto i'm forgetting <laughs> ruto comes and you're very busy you know ah uh, many at times believers never understand god many at times billy graham put it in a very simple way he said god tried his best to speak to people from wherever he is from heaven sending people sending prophets and everybody misunderstands even until today until god decided the only way that he can make a big difference on earth is for him to come down himself and walk around people like men he says if you want to talk to an ant and you want to make a difference in the lives of ants you know ants that black thing that moves around you have to become one of did you realize how busy an ant is you don't even know what they were to usikona mchana they are just and then at a, i don't know vile wagonga nangi have you have you watched how they they are very careful even if you are at the speed of light and another one is coming unakuta tu human beings are like those ants so busy for god the mind has been so much filled with things that is not important they have never understood their very reason of their existence nikikuuliza kwa nini unaishi to glorify god <laughs> ask many believers forget even about believers even pastors are asked what is the purpose of your church to glorify <laughs> to glorify there has to be some specific reason as to why each one of us have been created i'm saying there has to be a specific reason and the truth is if you sit long enough under his feet you realize that where you are is the wrong place ask some people like us who were studying the word of god seriously and you were studying engineering and now we realize that we are pastors kumbe not that is not what god created us for. i've looked at so many powerful preachers across the universe some of them are architects some are medical doctors some are. but even in whatever they have been studying they have been sitting under the feet of god i have been going to conferences day in day out even when i was in college just going everywhere listen to the word of god listen to big men until i realized what i'm trying to say is there are so many people busy doing nothing as far as god is concerned in fact some of us will reach heaven and we are told this is what i intended you to live you wasted all your lifetime doing nothing <laughs> doing doing nothing whatever you did every day of your life has never been part of what i intended you to do when you came on earth so many the bible talks of people who when they stand before the judgment seat of jesus who all their works are burnt and they escape narrowly the bible says even then they could have been burnt but they just found themselves alone everything of theirs burnt who are those people not just preachers who are preaching 
Because even some preachers, hmm? even some preachers, if their work cannot survive the temptation, the trials, the circumstances of this world, until even the mtu anaamua wacha ni uze nyanya. Iu kitu yu nito upasta yu menishinda. Or let me, I'm not only talking about them only, but even believers. Because if you're not called to be in the fivefold ministry, you're called somewhere. And until you sit under the feet of Jesus, like Mary, your life has no significance at all as far as God is concerned. No significance. This lady, what do you think Jesus has? Jesus is the creator of her life. He wants her to listen to him. She should not even be talking. Even if you have a very big problem that you know Jesus can solve. He knows everything about her inside out. What she needs is to hear him. Not to disturb herself with so many things that is happening. I was wondering why Jesus did not call her to come and sit like Mary. Uh, Mary was very hungry for him. <laughs> Can't he say that? Now the problem is he's a visitor in somebody's house. He doesn't have the freedom to speak the way he wants. But the truth is this. If she didn't see the need to sit and hear. If it has not been revealed to her. He has no business to talk to her about it. The same way today. The same way even today. If people that are in the house of God. Have never seen any need to sit under his feet. Do you know what will happen? They will be replaced by some others who come and sit under his feet. They knew that they are the ones serving. They are the ones that came early. They are the ones that came fast into that place. You know when I came to Mars a bit, One of the questions that somebody, one pastor asked me is, Ujaenda Bible College, unafanya nini kwa zima shule? Ujaenda Bible College, ujasoma this and that. What are you doing across the school? He has preached over 10 years before me. It's not about how many how long you have been in the house of God. It is how long you have sat under his feet. Amen. Even one year or two years of seriously sitting under his feet makes you more powerful than them that preceded you into the place of service. She's busy Doing things that has no importance as far as God is concerned. Hmm? Busy doing nothing. As far as God is concerned, she's doing nothing. People who are busy with what God does not value. they lose value in the sight of God. People who are not seeing any value in what God values, they lose value in his sight. 
It is as if you do not exist. Jesus calls them moving cops. Moving dead. It was like just people very busy during his time. We live at a moment in, a, in days that people are very busy doing nothing. I am saying busy doing. <laughs> you begin in January. By December, you might have accumulated wealth, but your spiritual life is in, in jeopardy. If you are married, your children don't even know anything about God. I want you to watch so many rich people, their kids. They have no interest to be the things of God. And their future is doomed. Even in this town, watch and see. Because the priority of the father and the mother is not God's. There is no place that is safe than at the feet of Jesus. For any human being that lives on the face of the earth. No one. Jesus said one thing is needful. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen it. And nobody can remove it from her. I wish they continued for us the story. To hear what Martha said. Hata wewe. Ukona Mary. Na mimi na shugulikia. Imagine, I don't think Jesus has been coming to their house every day. He's coming once. He's visiting that house once. And this man, if Mary, sorry, Martha could give attention to him, can change her destiny forever. Forever. What no man has ever done for her. What no relative has ever done. Jesus could do for her. She is so blind. Never care about anything that God is up to. Did Jesus care about what he was doing? Did he care? Sawa, hata mimi wacha ni kuje ni kusaidia. Yachana na Mary. Ama sote tukuje. There are some things people are doing in the church. God. Aungi mkono. Mungu wafanyi nini? Priority. She is so hungry for Jesus. You know hungry? So hungry. Ongea tu, ongea tu. You know me, I have been at that place where I have been so hungry for the word of God. I can pay any amount of money to get a book. I can pay any amount of money to go to conference. I can pay any amount of money to travel even wide just to hear some specific men of. I know what it means. I am not an accident on the pulpit. <laughs> Even if I didn't plan to, be, to preach. <laughs> it is the hunger of the word of God that brought me. Brought me here. I stand on so many pulpits. Not because I'm asking people. Can I come and preach? It is God who, who opened doors. Amen. He knows what is inside you. People just call you. Please can you come and do something? Kuna wengine wanatafuta invitation na ikuji. Simu niite tafadhali. <laughs> I went to Nairobi when I was coming from the class. Several preachers asking me, "Sio tuite tukuje marsabit, tuhubiri." I looked at one of them and I'm like, "Wow. Do you even have the content?" <laughs> Some of our, our members are, are mature than you. It's very true. Because I cannot bring you here. He has a big church in Nairobi. But I look at the way he talks. It's not about the bigness of the church. 
It is about the intensity of the light in you. <laughs> the revelation that is deep inside you. It's not about, we are not going to look for pulpits or a place to sink. You remember those days? I don't know if it is still there. People want to present. Pastor, I want to present a song. And the, the lists are, and they come there and they speak nothing. And they speak some songs that does not even make sense. Only to feel. Hmm? Those days are over. The pulpit is only for people who carry substance. <laughs> pulpit is only for, for people who carry substance, not papers. <laughs> No, you carry substance. And substance are transferred into you when you sit under his feet. This thing called, this thing called a prayer, that many lose their value because of misusing prayer, is very important. All you need to do is encounter God. When he shines in your life, people must listen to you. Mary, what, what are some of the things that you get after you sit under his feet? Number one, you know, you're just tired of the way you are. The first thing about people who are angry for God is they want to be built up. They want to be made perfect. The sinful nature has really interfered with us. Somebody who desires, blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness. Hmm? They are not about preaching. <laughs> they are about their lives being put right. That everything about me can it be in line with God is looking for such kind of people. Them that are saying, how can I be right in all my ways before the God, Father? Hmm? How can my ways please him? Now, if you have that mentality, that righteousness, hunger, having hunger for righteousness, what is it all about? Sin has thrown me away from you. I, 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 I encounter many people who mess themselves up and they desire the word of God, number one, so that their life will be right. Some can even talk to you about the evil they did without any fear because they are tired. Those who are hiding the evil they are doing, they are still not tired. And that evil they are doing in the secret place is causing their hunger not to be there. They don't hunger for God. They don't come to prayer because they have a very strong fellowship outside the presence of God. I am calling it a very strong fellowship. This fellowship should be stronger than any other. If you don't find yourself in a place like this and you think some other things are better, that is, fellowship is stronger, the one that God does not value. But you will come back running. I know many of them. There are some couples I told them. They don't come to church. They began fighting. Last year I sat with them and I told them, you are not coming. Some of you are even free. Not coming. We are here in the morning, in the evening. I told them, begin coming. They began coming. Problem ended. Why do you want to attract problems? By being outside their presence. Unajua nilianza biashara imekuwa sasa wateja ni wengi ujaona ya waislamu wanawafukuza kwa duka wakienda kuswali hata baada baada kumaliza kuswali they don't come to the to the shop they go and eat go for their lunch one hour after one hour they come back and people will still come yako inabidi take advantage hao wanyo wamekuja sai tu You are so busy. You don't care what is going wrong when you are outside his presence. 
Hautaki kujua kama maisha yako iko sawa ama hapana. That is how many people are. They don't care whether they are, they are doing what the Bible says. They don't care whether their marriage is getting better and better. They don't care whether their children as long as money is accumulated is it, it is not. All will be in vain. You begin talking like like Solomon, vanity of vanities. <laughs> vanity of kila kitu vanity hata akiangalia akiangalia marriage anasema vanity. How did he marry 1000 women? And then he says vanity of So he does he did everything outside the will of God and he began saying vanity. If you want to read the book of a backslidden man of God read Ecclesiastes until he con- concluded the only duty a man has is to know what the bible says and to do that's the only duty is if you go outside that vanity of <laughs> when you sit under his feet i'm saying number one, your life is constructed and made perfect and your desire is to be perfected when you sit there why do you listen to the word of god I have a question for you why do you listen it must help you correct things that are not right in your life intentionally si mahubiri inakuanga tumekuja tu kusikia na unatuambia vile ilikuwa na hujawahi apply kwako mwenyewe <laughs> hmm? eh hey, lakini ali preach ulionaje eh hey. hata kapeana hii point hata hiyo next week ukiulizwa ulijivunza nini uh, the first thing should be applying to yourself what you've heard the first thing number two, when you sit under his feet you're going to understand the reason of your existence you now purpose why were you here kusudi la kukua kwako ni nini kwa nini uli ulikuja duniani utajua you will know the purpose and let me tell you the truth nothing fulfills a human being more than fulfilling the purpose for which he has been created we have been lied to to think that when you get more possession when you get all that everybody has a good house a very good vehicle a private jet a chopper uh-huh what else that your life is better jesus said the life of a man is not contained in the abundance of his possessions in other words the people who are accumulating the reason that's why they're busy for god is because they're looking for wealth they're looking for money money will look for you when you sit under his feet god can open door for you right while you, while you are seated right here and you come from this place you get more customers you get more opportunities it is possible it has to be created first of all in you set unaenda kukaa unangoja customer kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni hawajakuja huko ndani kulikuwa to empty you know i've been waiting for morning hata mmoja hajafika you call them in the place of prayer and they come wewe uli, ulitangulia kwenda huko na hujawaita na hata wake, sasa the other challenge ni wakikuja wakikuja sasa kuna kwenda prayer tena si wafukuze wasema acha mimi niende niongee na Mungu doing things number three, you participate in that very purpose for which you have been created and you will have now listen i always say this in this pulpit even this morning even last one last yesterday morning i said there are people who god does not care about them but they are born again did i say that 
If you don't care about what God cares, God will not care about your life. Mary chapter 12. Chapter 12 of the book of John. Verse 1. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper. Also, Jesus comes there often. Or Martha and Martha served. Or it might be the same message. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table. It is not the same event. It's different. Then Jesus took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard very costly and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with his with her hair and the house was filled with the odor of the ointment then said one of his disciples Jesus Judas Iscariot Simon's son which should betray him why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor this he said not, because, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was put therein. Then Jesus said, let her alone. Again is the day of my burying, hath she kept this. For the poor always you have with you, but me you have not always. Wow. She knew he is going to die. She took for she took an anointing oil or oil or perfume that is bought at a cost of one year's wage or salary. I hope you hear me. That perfume, some version calls it perfume, some calls it oil. It costs a salary of one year. If you earn 60,000, how much is that? 720,000. She used that money to buy that thing. This man was screaming, that money. <laughs> And the Bible says he's a thief. What do you think a thief will do when they see money? There is a a proverb in Kiborana. They say, you know, when you cut a thief's hand at this point, yeah, kikata. When they see something to pick, this thing will do what? <laughs> <laughs> this part that is remaining. <laughs> that is how John Judas was behaving. <laughs> he wanted to. Huh? And Jesus told him, Keep quiet, my friend. He doesn't even see how important what she did is. Just like some of us today, when somebody gives big money, you feel like, Wow. See, the potter's a person. But Mary knows. Mary knows what is about to happen to Jesus and she did for him what he expected that nobody did. There were some times to attract the favor of God is to do something in the house of God that nobody is thinking about. Jesus said, this lady, wherever this gospel will be preached, her name will be heard, he said. And you know, still we are preaching the gospel. And they are still talking about Mary. <clears throat> you can't become irrelevant in your generation and beyond if you served the purpose for which God called you. Like, like this man called, uh, is called who? David, they, they write about you, Acts 13, 36. For David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell on sleep 
and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. When he has served. So the biggest question that now is there is, are you serving there? People who don't sit under the feet of God, even giving his heart, in fact, wa kipiana wanafikiria wanamepoteza pesa. Ibongelea unyo wanakuja maramoja church. Hata kuliza kutoa, wanakuangalia, you know me, I stand here, and I look at everybody's face when I ask forgive you. You just look at their face, they are like, wengine ni anointing tu ndia waleta hapa. Hata isa wengi ya kuja, kichukua basha, anaweka miyamoja andani. Siku taka, lakini wote wanatendea mini kaye. They don't even have any desire for God. They don't care whether things are happening in the house of God or I am a pastor, I know what I'm talking. I spend a lot in this kind of works and I know there are people who give almost nothing. They have been there in the church for one year and their giving is almost negligible. You know those ones are there but there's no better future they're waiting. Even if you are preaching and you are saying glorious future tomorrow, what you do today matters to your tomorrow in the house of God. When God gets shocked with you after you have done something, hmm? when God gets shocked with you after you have done something, he will do something for you. Amen. I'm saying when God gets shocked, she was almost falling and nobody was seeing. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is this. When you have a hunger for him, number one, every preaching that comes, you direct it to your life and you correct every aspect of your life. Number two, you're going to learn the purpose for why for which you exist number three you get yourself involved and you do diligently what God wants you to accomplish in your generation when people don't have hunger for God even nothing happens in the church awataki kuomba awataki kusikia neno la mungu na utakutana na wote wakona shida utasikia huyu alikuwa na iskando lakini unajua tusikiangi utasikia baadaye kumbe yeye pia i went to a bar some days back a bar i'm saying a bar somebody that uh, that he called me that guy called me pastor unataka mwenye dhambi nasema ndio <laughs> so he was drinking so he went there and then as we were sitting with the guy i mean he teacher lunch yeah, alikuwa kikunywa vitu zake and then somebody walked in. Kuja kuja leo ta pasta ako hapa kuja tukunywe. And he's a very known person. A born again who does a lot of praise and worshiping and everything. So oh pasta niko tu nikipita njia. Si ukuje si tunakunywanga na wewe. Sasa unajifanya umeona pasta unajifanya umeokoka. <laughs> the guy was just talking. When there's no prayer in the church, I wish Pastor Angekua Paske. You will grow sin in the church. In fact, you will bring more sinners in the church. Amen. Yeah, I think I'm done with my teaching. And the purpose of God will not be fulfilled. Unajua tutu ngefa kuenda mission, utaongea tu. Unajua tutu ngefa kuomba. Unajua tutu ngefa ku. Unasema tu miaka inaanza inaisha miaka Now do you think God will be there when you're doing nothing that he ordered you to do Hata pesa inakuja wakati unafanya kile yale kutuma ufanye The church that is on a mission has more money than the church that ha- is not on a mission I wish some of you you should have been a treasurer of a church that has no mission Munangangana, munashung, pastor, anauliza, sasa tutafanya aje. One of my friends was being asked by one of 
is leader in the church. Kwa nini watu hawatoi? Na mimi naona kuna mali wanapeleka pesa. <laughs> hmm? The, my friend asked him, what are we doing that God has ordered us to do? Si tumekaa patu religiously hata pesa yenye tunaokota haiendi hai mission, haitengeneze discipleship, disciples, hai sasa pesa itatoka wapi? Na mwingine is busy doing something and people are channeling money into his account. If you want to be a poor church, do no mission. Do no. If you want to be a poor church, if you want to be a rich church, do anything everything that the bible has said you to do. Me sometimes na shanga hizi vitabu tuna print tunapeana watu kila mwaka. Na hii tunataka ku print nyingine. Hii pesa inatoka wapi? Red Dio sijui nini. As we serve his purpose, his hand will be mightily upon us. And you cannot serve his purpose when you are not hungry for God. Amen. I have finished. Father, we are thankful. We will nurture our hunger and thirst for you until we have reached a place where you want us to be. We pray that we continuously sit under your feet and we will not get tired. Some people have fainted, have found it hard even to come in your presence. I pray that Lord you create hunger for us in us for you so that every day of our life we intentionally sit under your feet under your feet and hear you we give you glory in Jesus name we pray may the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the spirit is with us now and forevermore Amen.